I do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself I seem to have been only like a boy playing on the seashore, amusing myself by now and then finding a smoother pebble or prettier shell than ordinary, while the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. Isaac Newton is considered by many to be the greatest genius of all time. His virtues proved him a saint, and his discoveries might well pass for miracles. He was revered as a scientific demigod in his own lifetime. And now the keenness of a sublime intellect has allowed us to penetrate the dwellings of the gods <laughs> and, and ascend the heights of heaven. <laughs> anybody was a genius, then Newton was. Newton revealed the nature of light, allowing us to explore the universe. He enabled us to calculate motion and predict change. He distilled the force that unites the whole universe into a precise mathematical formula, the universal law of gravity. Newton is celebrated as the rational genius who propelled us out of medieval darkness and into the Enlightenment. But Isaac Newton was also a complex, difficult, and secretive man. He wasn't communicative. He didn't want to work with anybody else. He was easily offended. Spiteful and swayed by those who were worse than himself. In vulgar modern terms, Newton was profoundly neurotic. Newton's deepest obsession would only be revealed 200 years after his death, an occult world of heretical religion and alchemy. There is a vital agent diffused through everything in the earth, a mercurial spirit, extremely subtle and supremely volatile. But Newton's secret obsessions would transform the way we understand the universe. Newton was not the first of the age of reason. He was the last of the magicians. 